Ben Horner for Norwich Boxing here with Graham Everett talking rising stars um, we'll start off with how the show started you'll see Craig Poxton in an exhibition with Ryan Walsh unfortunately Craig's opponent pulled out um, can you let us know a bit more on that or? It, we uh, we received the message on uh, Friday morning that J James James Quinn has pulled out um, of Joe you know Joe Pennington it's you know, you've got no chance of getting a, somebody at that weight. So obviously uh, the cut-off point was for, for a foreigner to come in. So uh, we racked to brains, spoke to Ryan. Um, Ryan was happy to help the show. And the rest is history. And then they, you know, they put on a tremendous exhibition, which I think everybody enjoyed. Um, good experience for uh, for Craig as well. You know, it's probably as good as a fight for you know for some people. He's in with the British champion, you know, yeah. which he needs that. Um, sold a lot of, lot of tickets and uh, it's good, it's good, you know, it's good. As far as exhibitions go, it's very, very good. I have seen some awful ones in the past, yeah. but, you know, that, that was a real quality, um, quality little show, six-rounder. Six um, obviously looking forward for Craig. Last time speaking to you, we found out that he got, he's got an English title shot in the new year. Yeah. Um, is there any more on that? Or do, it looks like the end of February. I spoke to Steffi Bull this week. Um, Andy Townend is fighting tonight in uh, Doncaster. So, fingers crossed he'll come through that and everything, which I'm sure he will. And then that will be all systems go for the end of February. Obviously, the next fight on the card was two of our own, Billy Boy Bird and Dwayne Green. Same situation with Billy, impossible to match. Um, with, with a really late withdrawal of, of his opponent, it's just good that we've, you know, we've got Dwayne. Dwayne was available. It's, it's not an ideal situation, but anyone who saw the fight, you know, they both, you know, they both put everything into it. It's, um, it's, it's just one of them situations. It's, you know, you know, it was, it was, a, it was a good quality fight anyway. You know, it probably went the way we would have expected, but it's a win for, it's a win for, a win for Billy and. You know, hopefully yeah. he'll move forward now to uh, something bigger in the new year. Do you feel there's something credit to yourself? Billy's record is an impressive record now, and yeah. do you find it hard to match someone like Billy? Um, people looking at that record, do you feel that sort of turns them away a little bit? Or? Well, I, just, yeah, I can see what you're saying, but um, you know, when they get, like you say, when they get better records, it, it is more difficult, and sometimes you have to. Have to go down the foreign import route, um, but you know we, that's what we do. Me and myself and Mervyn, we match match these boys up and just do the best we can do. You know it's like the top of the bill, Joe Hearn, yeah. Mark us to do. The way he, you know you pull two decent fighters together, and just hope they hope they produce everything. But yeah, I mean Billy's Billy's had a couple of wins back from his defeat now, so he's back in the championship mix. Um, it's up to him to step up to the plate in the new year, get yourself superbly fit as well. Not just what he does here, what he does away from the gym. You know, just eat, eat right, live right, and then uh, we can get him back in the title pitching. Zay for Morris, unfortunately with a draw last time out, uh, but that sort of fueled him on a bit. Uh, I was really yeah. impressed with Zay from last week. This, I think that was his, his best performance to date for sure. Um, he will step up to a six-rounder in the new year, which is good progress. You know, I know it's a great story from where he come um, to where he is now, but you know, it's genuinely he, he'd be looking at say by the end of 2016 fighting for something like Joe Hearn fought for the other night. That's that, that gives him a goal to look forward to. You know, and this is what he's got to do. He's got to keep winning, keep impressing, keep improving, and um, you know, leave the rest up to us. It's something that sort of gets brought up a lot with Zafin about his where he's come from yeah. and what what he's done, but it's sort of being left in the past a little bit now. I mean, he's sort of established himself now as a professional boxer, um, yeah. and he's now got to take that on in in himself and push himself up a bit more and well, just I, keep working hard. I but. think the difference is he is actually starting to believe in himself now. You know, he's, he's, it's everybody there who supports him said the same thing. That was his best performance to date, and he did look quality the other night. Everything he done, I mean, the kid was dangerous as they come out of the, uh, you know, on the break, uh, hitting as he came out from a clinch, kept himself well protected, uh, and done the right things. His combinations were fast and explosive. 
I was really, really impressed with him. I actually really I enjoyed the fight as well, you know. It was, it was, a, it was, it was a good, exciting fight. Sam Sexton, um, it's the second fight back now after a yeah. long layoff. Um, from everything I've heard, it was the sharpest people have seen Sam for years. Yeah, Sam boxed really well. I said, I said before, and I told Chris Lakey beforehand that I said, you'll see a different Sam this time. Um, Tad, uh, you know, a little bit lighter, a little bit faster, and a little bit more intelligent. And, you know, after the last fight, we've decided there's one or two things we need to work on. Spending more time in the gym now, um, which is the only way I can work on things, myself and John. You know, he needs to be in here for us to work on things. We've, we've been working on his body attacks, which I think he shooed the other night. He, he's punched really well downstairs. And he just showed good intelligence, and that's, that's what we expect from a championship fighter. We'll probably do with another one of them before he gets right back in the mix, but if the, if the right opportunity comes up, we're ready. Two good warm-ups, 12 hard rounds. You know, in the first six he had were really hard, but, you know, with the Polish kid. But, yeah, really, I'm, I'm pleased with Sam. On to Joe, the hitman Hearn, as we keep calling him. Yeah. Um, I mean, last time out, his opponent was as tough as could be. Yeah. And so was this one. Again, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, I knew, he, I knew he was good. He, 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 had, he had probably seven weeks to get ready for this. He normally boxes up at super middleweight, Marcus does. But he made light middleweight the day before weigh-in. Um, very good, determined fighter. I've, you know, I've got, I got told that, which makes a good fight anyway. I mean, the thing is with Joe, he might be slightly fast-tracked, but he learned a lot in that fight yeah. the other night. He had two cuts. You know, he, he dropped someone, they recovered. He dropped someone again, they recovered. And the other fellow met him forehead to forehead. It was a rough, tough fight. And uh, that was worth the entrance fee on its own, that, that fight. Tremendous fight. Absolutely tremendous. But myself and Russ, Russell Smith have spoke about, um, sp spoke about him and he's banned from the gym for two weeks. Nice, complete rest, freshen up, ready for the, for the next show. And then hopefully we'll, well, we're, I'm pretty sure we'll have a show in Essex before the summer. Um, talking about Joe, like the fast tracking, do, yeah. do we, after this fight, do we see sort of, what, 2016? Well, I think, How do we... I think ideally we maybe get him another six rounder um, and then another title fight of some description, then we'll look for a southern area or something on them lines. Just see what opportunities arise. That's, you know, so it's, it's about what's out there at the time, but you know these things like the challenge belts, they they get them used to um, uh, day before weigh-ins, fueling yeah. up, etc., etc., and um, get used to being on the top of the bill a little bit. He's got tremendous support down there. He's got a great sponsor on board in Billy uh, Billy Walsh, who's all of a sudden come in. He, uh, you know, he's, he's come on board. Great guy, even though he's a Colchester fan. <laughs> but um, you know, he's he's. Things are going well, uh, well for Joe. Like I say, he's got a tremendous fan base, and rightly so. He brings excitement. As soon as, as soon as he, as soon as he's on, you know, people are interested. People in Norwich are really starting to like him. Um, they've seen uh, 14 rounds of Joe now, and everyone has been excited. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I've been at all of Joe's fights now, and I, yeah. I, well, uh, unfortunately, apart from the last one, and I can't say there's been a boring round out there. So no. Joe's is excitement and. Yeah. Um, we look forward to seeing what, what's there yeah. for, in the future for him, really. Um, Russ is doing a good job down there with, with, with him and uh, the other lads he's got coming through, so uh, you know, it's a good link up with him. He's, aside a, good, he's, from, a, good, he's a good guy as well. Aside from the show, um, you obviously train loads of professionals here at the Kickstop gym. Yeah. Um, have we got any more news on Ryan and Liam Walsh? Well, Liam's, um, Liam's got a, a meeting this week with... Uh, with Frank Warren, so we'll see where, where, where that takes us. Um, there is there's a possibility of Ryan Walsh boxing in January. Defence of the British title all will be revealed this week. Brilliant. Um, but he's in full training. He's sparring with George Jupp tomorrow. Um, you know, he's been back in the gym since his last fight. You know, no no real time off, three or four days off. He's he's back in. He ran the next day. He lives the life. That's um, that's that's what you've got to do, and you've got to be ready. You know. Eight, Brilliant. ten weeks, here you He's, go. Yeah, so uh, another words from Graham Everett, and um, I'm sure we'll meet up with you again soon. Um, it's cute for a song, that is. Yeah. We'll meet again. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. Finally, this will obviously go out after the Fury Klitschko fight. How do you see it going? Really hard one to 
I, I would think, I mean, I do want Tyson to win. I, yeah. I, I bet twice against Tyson before. Um, I predicted that Tyson would lose, and that's the biggest mistake I made. He's, you know, it was such a one-sided fight with Del Boy. Um, so my heart tells me Tyson could do it. There we go. Brilliant. Thanks for so your time. So a good fight. I'm yeah. sure it will be. It's a great occasion. And uh, good luck, Team Fury. Brilliant. Thanks, Graham. And uh, speak to you again soon. Yeah, thank you. Cheers.